Have you ever wondered about the different types of narcissists? Well, you're not alone. Narcissism is a term that's often thrown around, but its true meaning and variations are not as commonly understood. At its core, narcissism refers to narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, a condition characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. But did you know that narcissism isn't a one-size-fits-all term? In fact, there are several subtypes or variations of narcissism. Each of these types reveals a unique way in which narcissistic traits can manifest and influence both the individual and their relationships. So, as we move forward, we'll be dissecting these different types of narcissism, shedding light on their particular characteristics and impacts. Now buckle up and get ready as we dive deeper into these fascinating types of narcissism. First, we come across the grandiose narcissists. These individuals are the embodiment of the classic narcissist image. They carry an inflated sense of self-importance, coupled with a constant, insatiable need for admiration. They firmly believe in their own superiority, often viewing others as mere stepping stones on their path to glory. Don't be surprised to find them in leadership roles, their ambition and desire for control driving them to the top. Their charisma can be magnetic, drawing people towards them like moths to a flame. Yet beneath this charming facade lies an arrogant and condescending nature. They can be exploitative, using others for their personal gain without a second thought. Their grandiosity is not just confined to their minds, but extends to their actions and their interactions. They dominate the space around them, their presence often overwhelming and hard to ignore. Charismatic yet exploitative, grandiose narcissists are indeed a force to be reckoned with. Next, we explore the more subtle, covert narcissists. These individuals are masters of disguise, expertly hiding their true selves behind a facade of humility or even victimhood. Unlike their grandiose counterparts, they don't openly showcase their inflated self-importance. Instead, they subtly manipulate those around them, often using guilt trips, emotional blackmail, and passive aggression as their primary weapons of choice. Their tactics can be so subtle that their targets often don't realize they're being manipulated until it's too late. You see, covert narcissists are like psychological chameleons, able to blend into various social situations and adapt their tactics to suit their needs. One moment, they may play the victim to elicit sympathy and support. The next, they may use passive-aggressive tactics to subtly undermine and control others. These inconsistent and contradictory behaviors make covert narcissists particularly difficult to identify and understand. Covert narcissists, with their contradictory behavior, can be a real challenge to identify. Moving on, we encounter the dangerous malignant narcissists and the appearance-obsessed somatic narcissists. Malignant narcissists are a particularly troubling breed these individuals blend elements of narcissism with antisocial personality traits, making for a toxic cocktail of aggression, cruelty, and a chilling lack of empathy. They can be physically or emotionally abusive and may even engage in criminal behavior. Their potential for violence and manipulation makes them the most hazardous type of narcissist to cross paths with. On the other end of the spectrum, we have somatic narcissists. They are consumed by their physical appearance and health. Convinced of their exceptional attractiveness or fitness, they're constantly seeking validation through admiration of their physical attributes. Their world often revolves around health, exercise, and beauty. This obsession can lead to vanity, materialism, and even body dysmorphia, making them a challenging type to interact with. These types of narcissists, with their potential for harm and obsession with appearance, can be particularly difficult to deal with. Finally, we meet the intellectually focused cerebral narcissists, and the morally superior spiritual narcissists. Cerebral narcissists are those who revel in their mental prowess. They firmly believe they are the smartest people in the room and often display an air of arrogance toward those they perceive as less intelligent. Their playground is usually academic or professional settings where they seek recognition for their intellectual accomplishments. On the other hand, spiritual narcissists claim to possess superior spiritual or moral knowledge. They exploit their religious or spiritual beliefs to gain power and control over others. This type can be manipulative and judgmental, often using their so-called enlightened status to justify their actions. Whether it's intellect or spirituality, these narcissists know how to use their perceived strengths to their advantage. But remember, these are not definitive categories, and narcissistic traits can overlap. It's the patterns of behavior that matter, not the labels. Understanding the different types of narcissists can be a complex task. We've explored several subtypes, 
each with its own unique characteristics and ways of interacting with the world. From the grandiose narcissist who thrives on admiration and holds an inflated sense of self-importance to the covert narcissist, who manipulates subtly from behind a facade of humility or victimhood. We've also delved into the world of the malignant narcissist, whose aggression and potential for violence make them a dangerous presence, and the somatic narcissist, who places an obsessive focus on their physical appearance and health. We've examined the cerebral narcissist, who prides themselves on their intellectual prowess, and the spiritual narcissist, who uses their perceived moral superiority to manipulate and control others. These categories help us understand the diverse ways in which narcissism can manifest. However, it's crucial to remember that these are just potential types, and individuals may exhibit traits from different categories. Narcissism is not one size fits all, and the lines between these subtypes can often blur. Furthermore, while these categories can provide insight, labeling someone as a narcissist should be approached with caution. It's more productive to focus on behavior and its impact rather than assigning labels. If someone's behavior is causing harm, it's important to address the behavior itself and seek appropriate help and resources. If you find yourself struggling in a relationship with someone exhibiting narcissistic behaviors, seeking professional help is essential. Therapists and counselors can provide strategies and tools to navigate these complex dynamics. Online resources and support groups can also provide valuable insights and a sense of community. As we conclude, let's remember that understanding narcissism is not about pointing fingers, but about fostering empathy and understanding. It's about recognizing harmful behaviors and taking steps towards healthier relationships. Remember, safety and respect are paramount. If you are experiencing abuse, reach out for support and resources.